my TTL computer, Rev 2D, I think. And um, 2C was uh, the software fix ups that we needed to do on the uh, ALU to provide that extra scratch register for the, uh, the call and the return statements. That's been completed and we're up to Rev D. So we have our first implementation of the serial UART chip. And uh, we see we have our uh, FTDI cable connection here for serial, serial IO. And uh, hey, we're ready to go here. And uh, I'm just going to enable this clock. And we'll see that the, we'll start counting from 65. There we are, 65. And here we are. We have our first characters to the terminal. So that's just incrementing uh, in a loop. And uh, so that's counting, starting with ASCII 65, which is capital A. And we see that that's just uh, moving along. Hey, okay. cool. And so we, we have the, uh, the serial, uh, the serial IO as far as the output is hooked up to the, the same signal as the display output with the digits. So when we output to one, we're, we're outputting to both. So I don't see an issue with that. It gives you confirmation of what's being sent. All right, I'm going to up, up the, update the um, clock frequency here to uh, two. I think this is 166 hertz, and we see this is going much faster now. And there's, there's no bounds checking that's happening here on the um, on the uh, what's being sent. So it's just starting from 65 and going. So it's just going to cycle through starts back with the printing printable digits there. All right, I'm gonna try with the clock speed as fast as we can go, which is up to 250. All right, and that's still holding together. That's a pretty good test. So that's 250 Hertz. And I think uh, I may, we'll have to see what happens after I get further into uh, doing some of the serial IO and do some real programming with this. But uh, again, the fastest clock speed right now is 250 Hertz. I may, if need be, try to go up to the uh, 500 Hertz, but that is really going to be, I think we're approaching the limit, <laughs> the hardware limit of my uh, computer because, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the control um, unit is implemented in a microcontroller, even though it's functioning as a combinatorial logic circuit. Um, you know, it's procedurally being implemented. So I have uh, a, a limit as to how fast the clock can go because it can't go any faster than whatever the... Um, the timing is for the instructions that it has to execute in the microcontroller. So we're getting up to 500 hertz, um, which is at one millisecond, I guess. No, one microsecond. Um, no, one millisecond. That's getting close to, I think, the limit of what the code uh, is, is going to be doing. So, I mean, the code has to process faster than, than the... Um, the hardware clock timing. So that's using up probably about half of half of that time just on the procedural code in the microcontroller, for the control unit. So it still needs to react to that and uh, do what it needs to do signal wise. So I'm, I'm hypothesizing without having to count all of the individual instructions that uh, 500 Hertz is about the limit. So I won't go up there unless I need to. Uh, once I do some real serial, you know, start working on that that bootloader. Uh, if I need to make it go faster, I will. But if if the 250 hertz is okay, then I may just stay at that for whatever. It's fa if that's fast enough, it's fast enough. So anyway, cool. Halfway halfway to the final hardware revision here for the. Uh, for the terminal 
software. We just need to implement the um, receive side in the in the in the UART, and that's the harder code. So the send code was the easier code, uh, which is what I've done, and we'll work on the receive code. So this this UART is going to implement both the send and receive um, the send and receive logic. Anyway. Moving along, had some glitches as usual uh, implementing this. I had to resurrect some really old um, uh, firmware code that I had for doing the serial I.O. on my uh, microcontroller that uh, I had some issues with, but I got that straightened out and uh, looking pretty good. So again, we had our, our terminal, at least our serial I.O. sending done and running at a good clock speed. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.